Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever time it is for you when you're watching this. My name is Derva, and this is the Zarek Creations podcast where I talk about all things knitting, fiber arts related, um, weaving, mostly knitting though. So welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're returning. Um, if you like what you see, it would really help me out if you would give this video a like, if you would subscribe or leave a comment. Um, that just helps us be seen by more people. So thank you, welcome again, and without further ado, we will jump into this week's podcast. So this is going to be a classic knitting podcast episode where we talk about what I'm finished, what I've been working on, and what I have plans to work on. So let's dive right in. First thing we'll talk about is finished objects. And I have a few, a um, little bit of a different weird setup today. I'm going to be doing a project with this um, picture. Uh, so kind of, kind of sprawled out in a different spot than normal. Um, I'm on the floor. <laughs> um, so it is what it is. So I have three three finished objects um, and another one that I don't have with me. So I have been making these hats, beanie hats, um, that are reversible. And um, the plan is to donate these to um, the group at our church that handles uh helping people park. <laughs> so I am super grateful that I don't have to be out in the cold. I'm in a, I'm in a place where uh, it gets quite cold. And um, so the parking volunteers both help get us in the, the parking lot and find spaces um, and get us into church on time. Um, but I'm also just super grateful that they're out there in the cold, directing traffic, getting people where they need to be. Um, efficiently and that I don't have to do it. So um, I have a, um, a bunch of yarn. I think I've talked about it in the past. I have a bunch of yarn from Knit Picks that was a kit to make a hue shift afghan and I, I wasn't feeling like I wanted to start that anytime soon. So I was thinking I was going to make use the yarn for something else. So this is what I've decided is I'm going to get as many hats out of it as I can. And they're super squishy. This is Knit Picks Brava, which is an acrylic, which is nice um, because then these can just be thrown in the wash. And this is DK in the DK weight. I held it double um, and then also made everything double layered. So these are really squishy and thick. Um, and I've got two so far, um, a third that I am on the decreasing part on. Oops, I'm losing some stitches. That's not good. I even have little stitch uh, stoppers that I'm apparently not using for this. So I should fix that. There we go. Um, so this one is uh, kind of the seafoam green and this teal, really pretty, I'm excited for that. Um, and then I also made one for my dad who it was his birthday relatively recently and we haven't been able to see them um, in a bit. So we saw them actually today and I gave it to him and it was, I don't have that one with me. It was out of this blue and then, where's the red? just like a classic red um, and a little bit of white. So for his, I did a, a stripe. Um, so it's mostly blue and then a little stripe of white, big stripe of red, little stripe of white, blue. And then on the inside, I made it mostly red with a little bit of blue with a bigger white stripe. So still reversible, something a little bit different and interesting, which is probably what I'm gonna do when I get down to some of these um, more scrappy balls. So like this pink, I don't have enough to do a full outside one size side of the hat. So maybe I'll do stripes or since I'm holding it double, maybe I will um, kind of marl it with a different color and get a gradient that way. Um, and I think I will probably get like 12 or so hats. 
out of what I have, maybe a little bit more. I think I have 10 or 12 balls of yarn, so maybe 15 um, hats. And get those off to the people who will really appreciate and enjoy it. The next finished object I have is the rose window beanie. Oh, I'm so happy with how this turned out. So this is for a, a dear friend and she loves like pink and purple. And so this is in Knit Picks Chroma Fingering in Lupine is this colorway. Um, and then Stroll Black, Stroll Fingering um, in Black, which is a sock yarn uh, also from Knit Picks for that color. Uh, but the color has, as uh, the color shifts, uh, it does have a like really bright blue um, that I was worried I'd have to cut out when I get, not worried, but I was thinking that when I, if I got to it when I was still working on the hat, that I was going to cut it out so that um, she gets just a pink and purple hat. But I just love like the, the really bright pink ended up pretty much like right in the middle. So there's this like bright pink and then this like fuchsia here and then a light purple and then the dark purple just on the bottom, which kind of is nice as you go into this motif here. Um, yeah, I'm just really pleased with it. So I uh, let her know that it's ready and she and I will be getting together soon. I will give it to her and I'm very, very, very excited for that. So those are all my finished objects on to works in progress or whips. I am working on the Dark Academia sweater by Sharon Hartley, uh, who's River Road Knits on, I think, both uh, Instagram and uh, YouTube, which is a YouTube channel. Not quite sure where my balls of yarn are going. Apparently they went through. So this is a circular yoke top down sweater, color work, all over color work sweater. And I have finished the first color work chart. So I finished the yoke um, and I am about to divide for sleeves. I have not done that yet, as you can see. Um, so I have to go do the, the cast on, um, where you cast on the stitches for under the arm. Um, that's my that's my next step. And I'm kind of just putting a little bit of a pause on this one for a brief moment. Uh, not too long because I'm super excited for it and I really wanna wear it. <laughs> so I wanna be finished with it. But um, I like to try and ride the momentum wave. And so I have a couple of projects that um, I'm a little less excited to do or just need a little bit more of a push to make progress on. And so I am forcibly, like I got to a, a big changing point here um, and I am forcing myself to set it down for a little bit um, and work on something else. So hopefully that goes well, cause I really wanna get back to this. Oh, and uh, yarn that this is, this is my own hand dyed, um, colorway this this purple and bear and these are both um nitpicks gloss fingering um they were the bear yarn and then i i hand dyed the um the purple i call it regal colorway um and i'm really excited to see how that goes i'm almost done with the first ball um for skein and i dyed them so that they'd get progressively a little bit darker as you go towards the bottom of the sweater um, and I'm really excited to see how that kind of um, comes together. All right, my next work in progress was not a work in progress last week or two weeks ago when I recorded the last podcast. And now I'm like super far <laughs> on it, which is uh, a bit of a shock to me. I actually haven't done a whole lot of garment knitting um, for a while. I was bullied really badly um, when I did some a couple years ago. And so I started um, doing more like scarves and hats and mittens and um, shawls because then I would like wear them on the weekends and not at work, which is where I was getting a little bit teased and bullied. So anyway, now I am starting to knit some sweaters. I'm really enjoying it. And so like this one, um, I started four or five weeks ago and I'm 
pretty far already, I think, for a fingering weight sweater. Um, and I'm not a monogamous knitter, so <laughs> that's impressive. And then this is for my husband. This is the beginning of his sweater that I'm calling the family sweaters. Um, it's the GGN Norwegian ski sweater, kind of. <laughs> If you know me, um, I go rogue on patterns. I have to change something. I'm like, oh, that's the general shape, I guess, that I want. Um, and then I'm just going to literally do anything else that I, I want to it. So the only thing that I've actually taken so far from that sweater is the number of stitches that I cast on. And I tested and I got gauge um, for the yarn. So <laughs> I could have done any gauge and done the math myself because I did. I took a sweater that fits my husband really well. And I measured all of all of the important points on it. Um, so I, I'm knitting it to all those measurements. And then um, I wanted to do some a little bit of color work. He likes black, so it's mostly black. Um, a little bit of color work at the bottom and at the hems of the sleeves. And then as I get to like below the arms. Um, like the chest area, I will be adding, I have my phone here somewhere, it's gone, um, some Norwegian motifs. So in that sweater, the GGN um, Norwegian ski sweater, there is uh, the some stars and then like the X pattern um, from a Norwegian sweater. And I am going to do something a little bit different, but I want to keep the, I think I want to keep the X part um, but I want to use three colors. Um, so I'm going to modify it a little bit to, to be three colors because I want to use the red and the white. Um, and then I had mentioned this before. I'm going to do on the sleeve, I'm going to do the band of color work with um, something that personalizes the sweater for the person who's going to wear it. So for my husband, I'm going to, um, there's a motif called the death flake. <laughs> so it looks like a snowflake or a sun, sun flake. Like I think the, the, um, rays are a little bit squiggly and then it has like a skull in the middle, which is not too, um, too noticeable though. Maybe it will be in with such high contrast. Um, but so I'm going to do that on the sleeve. So I, I, I kind of want to tie something in um, across the, the chest or the oak. So this is a drop shoulder sweater. Um, I will be steaking the sleeves uh, or steaking the body for the sleeves. <sighs> what else? Oh, this is like how much I did in one day is this amount, which might not be a lot for some people. But for me... Um, that's kind of a lot per one day. So I've done this whole thing. I'm almost to the point of um, changing for the chest uh, motif. I think I have another inch and a half to go, which in this gauge is about like eight rolls is an inch and a half. I think somewhere between four and six and seven is an inch. So not that, not that far actually. So that's this one flying through this and yeah, that's, those are my whips. I haven't had him try it on yet. Okay. I have a little, a little like chat to do. One of the notions that I've gotten recently as a gift is from the knitting barber, the original, um, these cords. So if you are familiar, they're these little like rubbery cords that you can, and they're nice because they're stretchy a little bit. Um, so you can put your stitches on here, take them off the needle, put them on here, and then you can try something on. And whereas like my, obviously like my cord that's in here wouldn't be enough slack for my husband to try this on. So he has not tried it on yet. However, I am having a devil of a time getting the stitches to actually go on here. So I tried to try on, tried to try on my dark academia sweater and I couldn't, I'll show, I'll put in a picture. Um, I couldn't like pull it down because I couldn't get all the stitches on the, on the barber cord. I had to leave 
my needles in and then I only had the the stitches on the barber cord for like a third of it because I was just losing stitches and things weren't sliding on very well it was just a, a hot mess so I kind of tried it on and I kind of didn't <laughs> um so I hope it actually fits and like sits lower which I think it will um but yeah that's I ha I'm having a little bit of beef I don't know if it's beef with the product or if it's struggle adjusting to the new thing. I've just used waste yarn um, pretty much for everything else or I've done a lot of seaming together and so um, and so uh, haven't needed something like this and so I'm, I'm trying it out. Um, I'm not convinced that it's like the best thing since sliced bread but I'm not convinced that it's you know horrible either um, so it could just be the yarn combination of the yarn that I was using um and me not really knowing how to how to best use this um but I was I was struggling a little bit with it so anyway I have not had either of us try on these sweaters I guess I'm kind of half tried on uh, but I have not had my husband try this on but I just held it up <laughs> and made sure that I was roughly on track of where I wanted the color change to be so um yeah, so I, on this one, I did a rolled hem instead of uh, the ribbed hem, and it, but it's a nice, like, thick rolled hem. I'm really excited about that. I think it'll look really clean and nice. So excited about that. So future plans. Um, part of why I have this in the frame is I'm going to be starting a project that is weaving with this picture frame. So um, I don't know if you can see, not super well. Um, there's no glass on this. Um, I got this for free from Facebook Marketplace and um, the picture has some damage on it. And um, so it's not necessarily like the nicest thing ever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the picture and the matting and um, I don't have my supplies with me. Uh, I keep having to like put the sharp things away <laughs> so that they're not out for little hands to grab and then I just don't have them handy to show for this podcast. But um, this is going to be my first weaving that I make of the year that I am going to use up all of my scraps. So this is my little dinosaur um, to hold my scrap yarns. And so you can kind of see what I've been working on recently, some of those hats. Um, and I, I, I wanted to weave, um, do a weaving that has all the scrap yarns that I have from this year. And I kind of want to do it from like maybe one of the corners up and out um, in the order that I was working on these projects. So it's kind of time to start because this is not super full, but definitely have some to work with here. Um, so I wanted to get that started. So I want to warp this. Um, I'm gonna use just some staples, um, like, what are those called? Those hand staples, staple gun. Use the staple gun um, with those little heavy duty or staples um, to, and then some, some thread. I haven't exactly decided what I'm gonna use for, for my warp threads yet. I have a couple of options, um, but I don't have like anything that is specifically warp thread like you would get um, for weaving supplies that you would use with like a heddle, a rigid heddle loom or something like that. Um, so it'll be a little bit of a scrappy <laughs> weaving project, scrappy warp threads, um, but I want to get that going. Um, so I might, and then I will be filming that process, um, both like how I create the warp threads and then as I make progress, uh, do a little um, design or project journal style, um, vlog style video for that. And um yeah, I'm really excited for it. This is, I mean, it's not a bad painting. It was just a print, but um, I'm really excited for what it's gonna become. And um, yeah, then I'm gonna gonna be hanging it somewhere in my office that um, I can use it as a, as a backdrop for future podcasts. Uh, my husband is, is gonna take down some of the 
things that are normally in the background that are more video game-ish that are his and I'm gonna kind of have my own little corner. So that is all that I have to talk about today. Um, I am hoping that I will have some finished objects for two weeks from now, maybe one of these sweaters even. Um, if not, a little bit of progress on a few other things. And um, just excited to have spent this time with, with you all. So thank you so much for watching. Um, again, if you've if you hung around this long, if you would give this video a like, if you would share it with someone else who's interested, I would really appreciate that. Um, to my few subscribers <laughs> who have joined recently, thank you so much, welcome. Um, I'm so glad to have you and um, just really enjoy sharing about what we're doing here. Um, so again, I'm Darva signing off. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, and that you are able to create something beautiful um, in your own life in whatever fiber craft that you're interested in or whatever it is that you love doing. Have a great one. Bye.